Hey, everybody. The talk today is about the hiring by the Washington NFL football team of this man. His name, as you may know by now, is Jason Washington White. Washington NFL football and team of this man. His name, has as you may know by now, a great story uh, in that he is a former NFL player who has went on to go to business school and now as of early this morning he was appointed team president and said to be a historic hire because he is responsible for leading the team's organization business divisions including operations finance sales and marketing and now becomes the first black president of an nfl team okay that's fantastic but there's a problem, all right? And the problem is this. The picture that's painted is of a black man who is the first to be responsible for the business operations, the business operations of an NFL team. That's the picture. Let's, let's go down and take a look at the news as reported on Twitter. Jason Wright. This is in the New York Times. A former NFL running back turned business consultant has been named the new president of the Washington football team. He is the first African-American to hold such a position in league's history. 38 years old. Congratulations. All right. Alpha Phi Alpha congratulates brother Jason Wright on becoming president of Washington football team, making him the first ever black team president in NFL history, onward and upward. And the undefeated... Here, the Washington football team's new president, Jason Wright, says he is the best qualified person for the job, regardless of his race. Okay, Ian Rappaport, the FL Network, Washington football team has a new president, Jason Wright. He will be responsible for leading all business divisions, including operations, finance, sales, and marketing. And they put this out as a release, okay? Okay, now... I want to introduce you to my longtime friend going all the way back to graduate school in 1987 at Berkeley. Uh, well, really 1985. We, I graduated in 87. He went on to get his MR, Master's of Architecture, and he is uh, none other than the man, uh, this man in the, this photograph, and uh, he is Kofi Bonner. Now, Kofi Bonner you don't actually see in the photograph yet because I haven't called it up. But Kofi uh, got his master's degree at Cal. He also got in, in both master's of architecture and then master's of city and regional planning. And he went on to become a housing specialist in terms of housing then housing finance. And to make a long story short, he then started working as an economic development agent, if you will, first for the city of San Francisco, where he was the director of redevelopment. And then we in Oakland stole him and made him a director of redevelopment in Oakland. And then the San Francisco stole him back. <laughs> it was kind of a hilarious back and forth with Kofi, uh, but for good reason. He is a, a very bright guy. And I remember he and I had dinner in 98 at Harry's Southside, and he was telling me about a call he got from Carmen Policy, who at that point was the president of the San Francisco 49ers, but was asked by Al Lerner, the owner of the new Cleveland Browns, to be its team president. But Carmen wanted someone who knew the business side of an operations, and so he invited Kofi to be his new executive vice president and chief administrative officer. And so here we are, there's Kofi being written about in the Cleveland publication magazine, driven by passion, Brown's exec loves his role in the game and talks about his role as the business operations director, the person who makes sure the lights are on and the bills are paid for the Cleveland Browns. Now, this was before social media, okay? This was before Facebook. 
This was before YouTube, all right? But it underscores a point. The point is that in this day and age, we're so in a rush to prove that something is a first, especially racially, that we don't stop and remember that we do have an archival history of our advance in this society. Right now, in a number of different corners, it looks like African Americans are suddenly getting their our due. But in point of fact, society is more advanced than the media lets on. And how dare the media, both white and black, give this picture that Mr. Wright is the first black person to be responsible for business operations for an NFL team. That's not true. Co there's Kofi here, all right? There are a number of people as well. Kofi and I were talking about a chief financial officer uh, that represented an NFL team very more re even more recently uh, than Kofi, who was back in the early aughts. But Kofi was a, was a pathbreaker. He regularly went to the meetings of team presidents in the National Football League because he handled the business side of the Browns. And, co and hey, look, all you have to do is ask Carmen Policy. He'll tell you. But there are a number of people in Cleveland, like uh, Mary Kay Cabot, for example, who remember or should remember. I haven't reached out to ask her about Kofi yet, but I'm sure she remembers Kofi from when he served in the capacity of chief administrative officer. So there's a truth that should be told here about the history of my friend Kofi Bonner, who went on to become a real estate developer in the San Francisco Bay Area and basically the Western United States, if you follow his career, and is revered and well loved by everybody. And he was the person that actually designed, with the architects, of course, the Cleveland Brown Stadium that stands today. I tried to get the mayor of Oakland uh, to tab Kofi to lead the project to keep the Raiders in Oakland. And he would have done it if Libby had hired him. All right. Hey, so there are a lot of us out there that are in charge of key operations in business and society. So look, congratulations to Jason Wright on being the first black team president for the Washington football team. But Mr. Wright is not, I repeat, he is not the first black person to be in charge of business operations for a National Football League team. And that is a fact. The person who, who is, unless someone can present someone that's even before Kofi, and I'm sure there may be out there, but Kofi Bonner and the new Cleveland Browns. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.